Ladies and gentlemen, you won't believe what's happening out there in the cold, dark reaches of space right now. <laughs> We've got some major drama between scientists and NASA, and it's all because of the New Horizons spacecraft. Now let me tell you, New Horizons has been out there for years, traveling over 5 billion miles in space, taking fantastic pictures of Pluto and other amazing sights. And now NASA's decided to stop funding this fabulous explorer and focus on other things. Can you imagine? So Dr. Alan Stern, New Horizons' main guy on Earth, is furious. He's like, this is misguided and unfortunate. Just picture a sci-fi movie, but the villain is a budget guy. But wait, it gets juicier. Multiple scientists are backing Stern up, saying this decision will halt the spacecraft's main mission, studying the composition of planets. Now, New Horizons was built to make their dreams come true with our solar system's origins, only for NASA to find a loophole in the funding situation. I mean, this spacecraft has given us some spectacular stuff. Ah! Towering water ice mountains on Pluto, beautiful images of the Kuiper belts, and even discoveries that could be crucial to understanding planetary formation. But no, NASA's pulling those purse strings tight. Picture this, a lowly spacecraft built to find the meaning of life, or at least the beginning of our solar system. <laughs> but after sweeping past Pluto and moving toward mysterious objects in the Kuiper belt, now New Horizons is just floating out there with nothing but space weather for company. Uh, so this whole NASA budget cut brings a new meaning to the phrase, lost in space. This spacecraft is still out there, still capable of stunning achievements. And now it's all about tightening that financial belt, folks. As the tension rises, will our brave new horizons be left to drift aimlessly? Or will the scientists and NASA find a better funding solution? For now, we'll have to wait and see. This podcast is brought to you by AI Pictures.